In today's video, we'll be covering how to create a histogram in Excel using a pivot table. Histograms are useful for some data visualization tasks and are needed for many introductory psychology and applied statistics assignments at KPU. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your data in Excel in the first column here. Uh, then you're going to select it and click on Insert up at the top and then click on Pivot Table. So now you can see you've got your data selected and you're going to choose where you want the pivot table to be placed. In this case, we're just going to go with a new worksheet. So once you click on OK, uh, you can see the blank table here and you can see on the right hand side, you can move the variable name, in this case happiness score, into rows and into values. So this puts the numbers in the table here. Uh, in the right hand column you see it says sum of happiness score, but that's not what we're going to need for a frequency histogram. So you're going to right click on here and summarize values by count. And you want it to be count so that you know how many of each of the scores. So in this case seven, there would be two of those in the original data set. So once you have this uh, sorted out, you can click on pivot table analyze and pivot chart up at the top. So you're going to choose the default one, clustered column, and hit OK. And now you have a bar chart, but we want a histogram. So you're going to go into Design and click on Quick Layout and choose the one that looks like a histogram. So now you have the, the base of a histogram. You can change some of the formatting. You can add an outline, make it black so that you can see the uh, shape of the bars. Now you can also group your variables so that uh, it's not individually like 5, 7, 8. You can right click here and click on group. And you can change it. So for now we'll just click on 3. So now it groups it together and that's how you create a histogram. Thank you for watching this video. For more lectures, workshops, and tutorials, follow Kwantlen Psychology Society on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.